Hello and happy gaming everyone, it's Dark Sage Walker here. Episode 5, Parallel Universe, Thief. Let's do this. Hopefully we're gonna see some really interesting new equipment and new ways to play. How are you doing, my dear? You're the little realist of your group. Are you going to be the first to see sense and give up? It's not so bad, being a minion. You've got a ball pit in the staff room and there are free muffins in the kitchen every morning. None of us are going to give up. We came to win and we're going to do it. All of us. What a strange time for you to develop a sense of solidarity, my dear. Perhaps this will make you reconsider. If you give up first, I'll let you spend a whole hour outside of the dungeons every year. That'll make your eternal imprisonment sting even more sweetly. That's not even a good offer. That's a terrible offer. Also, no. Oh, it's definitely a dreadful offer. By the time this is over, you might just wish you'd taken it. Okay, yeah, she's definitely starting to show her true colors, and this is going to start getting real ugly. Alright, so let's see what sort of equipment you come with. Minimum four, split the dice as evenly as possible. Nunchucks! Oh my goodness! You suddenly became like Bruce Lee or Black Dynamite. Wow, I didn't think I would ever think about Black Dynamite again. So, uh, could we maybe get something other than a 3 and a 1? I mean, I'm doing damage. I'm appreciative for the ability to do damage, but maybe let me roll something else. Yeah, like this. Typical. I spend all day stuffing roses and rabbits up my sleeves, and then I lose before I even get to use them. Alright, let's grab a piece of gear. Blast Chiller. Plus four damage and plus one freeze. Reusable, but I mean, kind of impractical to use at eight. Whatever, maybe I'm just weird. Four twos. Alright, hopefully I can beat you before your poison starts to stack up. Hey, you don't even get to stack poison this turn. Sweet! Love it! I see no sense in poisoning something that's strong to poison. Six, and then hopefully next turn will be it for you. Hopefully. Get stack two more poison, yay. There are many times in which if I had used Blast Chiller, I would just be so super, super screwed. But because I refrained and thought, well, maybe if I freeze his dice, I'll turn an odd dice into an even dice, it actually worked out well for me. Yes, give me that extra dice. My nunchucks are going to carry me to victory! Unless I find something better, of course. Hello, Mr. Marshmallow, how are you? Alright, so... Let's go ahead and use the Master Key here. Oh my goodness, no, don't roll things like that ever again. So I'm not going to be able to use that next turn, unfortunately. That's five damage. Alright, so it's going to be a little difficult to get started doing two damage at a time, but... At the same time, I'm not having that bad of a time with this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Admittedly, Marshmallow has more health than I gave him credit for, though. This is getting ridiculous. I kinda get the feeling I'm gonna lose here. Oh, well, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, so nunchucks are a difficult piece of gear to start off with. I like them, don't get me wrong, but they are a difficult one to work with. What's really difficult to work with, in my opinion, though, is the idea that the Blast Chiller just isn't good. Four damage for an investment of eight? I suppose the plus one freeze is supposed to make it worth it, but I don't know. Alright, kind of in trouble now. We need to make some magic happen. Oh, okay. Actually, we weren't in that much trouble at all. <laughs> I wasn't worried at all. What are you talking about? I wasn't scared we were going to lose right there. You're, you're, just, you're just ridiculous. How about... Okay, so you can inflict up to three weaken. I think I'd rather take the Wrecking Ball. I do like Thick Skin, thank you. That one's fun. Alright, so we've got some pretty interesting gear here. What are you selling? What are you selling, Yolanda? Duplicate one dice, return the other. It's not going to tell me what, huh? Roll two fours. Okay, so is there a reason why I want that? I mean, maybe for you, but... I don't know, I don't think anything she has here is anything I want. Dramatic exit is really awful. And... oh, you're super hothead, so you have fire breath. Alright, cool. So, how do I want to do this? I'm going to start here. And we're going to fix skin. And it returns the dice to me. That's amazing. Six damage with the nunchucks. Do that. I do like that. It makes it worth having countdown here with Wrecking Ball. Alright, so this might be stupid, because I won't have access to it next turn. But, I do think I'm going to beat you before I have to worry about it too much. I mean, unless that happens. Oh, wait, no. I'll beat you with your own fire breath, the hell with that. Come on, me worried? I, I'm i never worried. Dark Sage, are you okay? Dark Sage, always okay! Alright, Sneezy, you're next. Now, there's no reason for me to really ever use that, but, you know, thanks. Alright, so admittedly, 8 damage isn't a great payout, but, you know, we're working with it. We're gonna get stuff done. Give me my unlucky roll. There we go. 3, 1, 3, one. Oh, I was actually gonna use Spike, but yeah, never mind, I don't have to. Yeah, your Spike sucks. No, you said you're just gonna use it. Your Spike sucks!
Tetraphobia. Alright, someone will be afraid of the number four by the time I'm done. Yeah, that's what tetraphobia means. Thank you, that was the joke. Right, well, no using... No using Master Key here, because there's just no reason for it. Alright. Wrecking Ball is definitely making this, making this run more interesting. Alright, so we've got ourselves a bit of a synergy here. It's just a matter of getting it to work now. Shield, which is more, which is really more of a three heal. There we go. Three, one, two, one, two, one. Oh, nunchucks, you are so much fun. Be afraid. Got you a tetraphobia. How do you feel about that? Kind of like a broken vacuum. Yeah, yes, thank you. That's kind of what I was getting at. Question, how is that an upgrade? No, no, honestly, what, do, what does that do for you? That's kind of nice. That's really nice. Two uses of Wrecking Ball this turn. I can split something as small as a two with that. Return difference. That just makes nunchucks more usable. God, there's so many good things here to level up. So I'm torn. Very much torn. I think at this moment in time, oh, which one do I go with first? Oh my goodness. I'm just going to go with nunchucks. If that's the wrong choice, it's the wrong choice. Oh well. Alright, we're going to split these. There we go. Really no reason not to drop the four into Wrecking Ball. Three, one. Three, two. And three, one. And now I have a two I don't know what to do with, so I'll just drop it there. Alright, I see how, I kind of see how this is working now. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. those. I'll put that over here just because I don't really care. What do I do with the 3-2 now? Oh, it doesn't matter. You're, you're already finished. Alright, you know what? I think putting it into nunchucks was a fine choice. I gotta say, that is really good. But chisel is also really good. Dice value minus one, roll a one. So you just get something else plus a one. That kind of pays for itself. Simultaneously, I like what I have. 
so I think I'm going to turn it down. I'll save my money for things like upgrades. Or, you know, just... Uh, whatever. Come on, Stereo Head, let's do this. I'm gonna nunchuck you down to nothing. Great. Wait. Yes. You're gonna return me the die anyway, so you might as well let me use it here. I'm curious about something. If you use a 2 and a 2... Alright, so no, you don't get anything back if there's no difference. It makes sense, I just wanted to make sure. And you know, it might as well. Three, one. So now it makes much more sense to go in here dropping things that aren't that aren't the same die. I mean obviously if you can you do three and three just because it does the most damage. I think I understand. Alright, I, I understand how that works now. So when you inflict weaken on someone, what you're doing is you're basically giving them a inflict extra damage counter. Do 4 damage, add random status. I'm gonna buy that, and I want to see what the upgrade to it looks like. Splitula. <laughs> flip a dice upside down, duplicate the flip dice. So let's say I put a four in there, it'll flip it to a three and then duplicate the three. Or if I put a 5 in it, it'll flip it upside down, then duplicate the 2. I don't know, I think I kind of prefer the... I think I kind of prefer the Master Key myself. I'm also kind of questioning if I should maybe put Determination in over Thick Skin. But I kind of like Thick Skin, to be honest. Alright, Rhino Beetle. Your days are numbered! Because, you know... There's numbers and days. They're numbered. I don't know what I'm talking about. Come on. Thank you. Another free damage. And there's a dress dropper from Tactophobia. Alright. 18 damage. Not bad. You're just gonna put all that into Beetle Headbutt. So, how does Lock work? Alright, so there's the rest of my dice. Okay, cool. This will be a 3 and a 3. This will be a 3 and a 2. bit of health recharge at the end of a turn is never a bad thing. Probably should have put that 5 into Blast Chiller now that I think about it. Oh, you know what they say, hind hindsight is a monkey's uncle. I don't think they actually say that shout out.
Oh, all the ones. All of them are so big. Five full fights. I smell the blood of a walking dice. Well, no you don't, because dice don't have blood. They're generally made out of a ceramic material, so... I, I call, I'm calling you out, Rhino Beetle. You don't smell nothing. No thanks. Really don't like... No, no broken mirror. Keep those broken mirrors away from me, Val. I don't want to be cursed. Snowman. Alright, so... Once again, have an issue where I have a hard time believing that inflicting freeze on you is necessarily going to be in my best interest. So I just don't think I want to do it. Turns out, on this turn, it would have definitely been in my best interest to have gotten a freeze. So, yeah, that feels stupid. Okay, so Snowman may very well just whoop my ass. Alright, so maybe we could not get all of them, all odds this time, so just one, and I'm cool with you having one. I don't want to see no more of that shit. And we'll use this for your own snowball. There we go. See you later, buddy. Woo! Okay, that was a little stressful, not gonna lie. Set a random dice to bleh, return the dice. Interesting. Do two damage, get an odd dice. Interesting, but I think I just want to upgrade. Alright, so what does determination become? Do four damage, add 2x random status. Glitchula actually go as low as a three. Being able to reduce the reduce the problems of incoming status effects to me seems useful. Most enemies have a status that they want to drop on you, and I don't know about you, but I'd rather I'd rather not take that. Sorry, I, I don't see a reason to just accept that. Alright, well, Rotten Apple could be a problem, so let's come to him last. What I want to do right now is see if there's any good any equipment that I actually care about trying. Alright, so we're going to use the Master Key. We're going to wreck and ball the crap out of this. Might as well drop this here. Yeah, okay, so one way or another I was not getting that to work out. Oh, one way or another you... Oh, but it doesn't matter because I, because I had that reduce. See? It's not such a bad thing to have. Okay, I've got a few too many large dice here. I don't know how this is going to work out for me. Odd as this seems, I really prefer having... having smaller pieces. Hey, birds! So, honestly, square pair might have actually been a better choice for me.
Alright, so, what do I do with these? We split the six. Put that here. Get that out of here. Another four damage. Oh, one off. Oh, man. But because of that, too bad. Yeah, I don't even feel the need to have to undo that. We're just going to drop this wrecking ball in your face and call it a day. Hey, birds, what are you doing over there? You just lost all semblance of cool for a little bit. At the start of the first turn, gain Fury. Interesting. Honestly, I'm good on that. Ooh, two-handed sword. Give me something to do with those fours there. But, I'm probably just gonna ignore it. Mostly because I'm just having way more fun with the nunchucks. Owie! Why are you clubbing me with these things? It's gonna be four damage either way, so I might as well get a freeze out of it as well. Birds. Hey, they're just going nuts. Listen to them, they're just going crazy. That there. Wrecking ball your face off. Say if you ever do get if you ever do get a freeze off on me. Or not a freeze, a curse. It would be a special day, son. Oh, it's still seven damage, and he is gonna get a curse off. Except for I am blocking it. Ah! Beautiful. I love it. Hey, the equipment that you get in this in this version of things is really interesting and creative. I love it. I'm going to upgrade Blast Chiller. That makes it just that much more worthwhile. Okay, well, in order to get to Paper Knight, I need to go through Rotten Apple, so I guess I'm taking you on now. Oh, what did you just say to me? <laughs> loving they, loving how the nunchucks give you back something. It's too good. Now oh, you're just putting everything in the rotten core, huh? What they say about you is right, you are rotten to the core. That was cheesy. Yeah, it's my sense of humor. You're just gonna have to deal with that! to take on Paper Knight with. And there we go. Perfect. 
I don't know how you, how Tetraphobia is a piece of equipment where you're just like swinging an idea at them. I mean, I can't think of what else it would be. You just have a number four made out of stone, like, here you go, boom! Granted, if someone just had a big number four made out of stone, I'd probably be scared of that too. Oops, I actually meant to use the three there, but oh well. No reason not to do nine damage with your own paper sword. Okay, two and one is three, now give me a one back. Four, five. So it's a nice combo, but I should have put some dice in the blast chiller because that's six damage now, I forgot. Alright, so you only got one lock off on me. Back at you, kid. Mostly just because it's best practices. And boom, and we're done. Good job, Paper Knight. You, you, you put up a fight. It wasn't good enough, but you put up a fight. Alright, now what were you guarding? Broken mirror. Why does the game insist on me taking this piece of garbage? I mean, yeah, you'll roll an extra die, but you might also just reflect your very own move back. Really, Drake. Really. Really. Okay, if I don't need to do, if I don't need to use wooden stake to finish you, then I'm just gonna fight you as is. Seriously, every time I get up to get up to the boss with a really cool build, oh, he can only be killed with a wooden stake. Restore all health when defeated once. But it seems like every time I get a really cool build and I get here, then it's like, oh, it's Drake! You know that cool build you're working with? Well, screw you, you don't get to use it. Oh, what, you thought you were having fun here? No, no, that's not what Dicey Dungeons is about. You're gonna, you're gonna take this wooden stake and you're gonna play this game our way. Why? Because fuck you, that's why. You know what? I'm just gonna defy the game. I'm I'm gonna beat him. I'm just gonna kill him twice. I don't care if that seems unlikely. Fuck it, I'm just killing him twice. Just consider consider it payback for all those times where I had really where I've had really good runs. And you just showed up and said, uh 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 uh. No, I'm sorry, Drake, but I'm at this point, I'm just starting. I'm getting mad now. I'm, I'm just. You get to deal with this, with this crap. You get to deal with the idea that you're pretty much the weakest boss in the game, and I'm going to kill you twice. Okay, so you get your small clout. Good for you. Yeah, I'm gonna need that, unfortunately. But fortunately for me, I rolled a bunch of high, a bunch of high-value things that I don't really want. Oh, 
Yeah, how's it feel, Drake? How's it feel, buddy? Knowing that you're gonna go down you're gonna go down like a bitch. Yeah, this is This is what happens when the when some when you start mayhem, when you start making me really mad. By the way, how did that help me? Now I don't know what your health is at. You know what? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it honestly doesn't matter what your health is at. It's going to end up being the same thing for you no matter what, buddy. Were I you, I would just accept that. Yeah, actually, you blinding my health is worse than... Yeah, you blinded my health, now I can't see what I'm at. But I blinded your health, now I can't see what you're at. What, what, what sense does this make? Yeah, yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get for making me, for making me disassemble all of my favorite builds just to put in a piece of gear that has one use, is useless, outside of your stupid battle. I hate you, Drake. Not as much as I hate Aoife, but ugh. So anyways, that's me going off on Drake for no reason, because he always makes me disassemble my favorite builds. And yeah, that made a Peril Universe 2. And we unlock the Mimic Collectible. What do we got here? Hobbies, doing impressions. Hey, who's this? Welcome to Dicey Dungeons! Funny. Favorite book, The Talented Mr. Ripley. Reason for entering the dungeons. Not many places these days where you can get such a regular supply of adventurers. Yep, yeah, he's not wrong. He's really not wrong. I mean, how many people out there still pick up sword and shield and go adventuring into terrible places? And yeah, I mean, he's got a point. You're not going to get adventurers in many places. Hard to fool people, and if you can't fool them into thinking that you're honest treasure, ah, uh, it's kind of hard to eat them. So, I don't know, if I were a Mimic, I suppose I'd enter the dungeons, too. Anyway, that takes care of Thief, Episode 5, and man, I'm having a lot of fun with these Episode 5s. Gonna keep this going, probably not tonight, because I have to work early, but next up is the... Oh, God. That's the goddamn robot. Ugh. Suck, robot. Suck, hate you. For what it's worth, I'm sure he hates me, too, but... Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel to see more in the future. Drop likes, leave comments, make me feel make me feel loved, and I'll see you next time. This is Dark Sage Walker, and I'll be seeing you.